Did you know that there's a brand new AI agent that you could get started with today for free that can answer all your emails for you? Or maybe you didn't realize that there's an AI agent that can actually make phone calls for you. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing because by the end of this video, you're gonna learn about three brand new AI agents that you need to start implementing today in order to automate your work. Now, the first AI agent tool that I wanna show you is going to be Relay.app. This allows you to create AI agents that work for you. You can connect it to Gmail, to Slack, to Notion, and hundreds of other apps in seconds. And if you come into templates right here, you'll be able to see all of the hundreds of templates that they have for so many different situations, for social media, finance, for sales, for meetings, for email, for marketing, and so much more. And if you come over to the site, you can get started with this today for free. Now, here's what it actually looks like when you're in here. And this is why I absolutely love this. If we come into knowledge right here, you can add in any files that you want. If you click on add knowledge, you'll see that you could upload a file, text, file from box, you could upload Google Drives, you could upload documents, you could upload spreadsheets, presentations, and anything else that this AI agent needs to then be trained on. In addition to that, if you come into apps, you will be able to see that you can connect this to hundreds of different apps in seconds. And then if you come under workflows right here, you could go ahead and create any workflows that you want. For example, check out how easy it is to create a workflow that can automate your email. If we come in here, we're going to click on trigger. We're then going to click on apps. We're going to type in Gmail right here, and we're going to see email received. Now, we could choose whether or not we want this to trigger if it's the first email in a conversation, or we could add in optional filters. And don't worry, if you get stuck with these filters, like what I see happen to a lot of people, you can click on filter assistant right here and describe whatever you want this to be. For example, emails related to sponsorship. So let's say that we wanna be able to automatically respond to sponsorship related emails. We can do this right here and we could say, yes, this is going to be good enough. So the subject or body, I'm going to say perfect. And then what this is going to do is actually create the different filters that we could have on here. I'm going to have this only trigger for the first email in a conversation. And then what we will be able to do is preview this based on my inbox. And as we can see right here, this is going to be step number one. So this is going to be done. Now, the next thing that we want to happen is we want for this to be able to actually get a summarization of whatever email it is that it received. So we're gonna click on AI right here. We're going to click on summarize right here, and we're going to select the source. Now, obviously the source is going to be the email received. So we're gonna put that right there. The length of this summary is going to be a single paragraph. We're gonna use Gemini 2.0 for this, but we could use whatever AI agent we wanted to, and then we can actually test out this step. So we're gonna click on test right here, and this right here will give you the AI output that this actually created. And we could change the behavior here so we could have a person review this if we want to. I'm gonna click no on this. Now from here, what we're going to want to happen is we're going to want an AI agent to now respond. So we're gonna click on AI again. And then what we're going to do based on this is we're going to click on write text. Now, what are we writing? We're gonna be writing an email. Instructions, we wanna provide guidance to help the model produce content in the format that we want. We're gonna say, please write an email to respond to all sponsorship requests and let them know that I charge $4,000 for a sponsored video on my channel. Now, if we wanted to take into consideration data from the previous steps, what we could do right here is take in this summarized text. And then the output right here, we can decide how long it's going to be. We could provide what format it's going to be. And we could test this right here. So I am going to test this right here and we will be able to see exactly what the response is going to be. So it's going to say, hi name, thanks for reaching out, ba 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 ba. And then it's going to say your name. So we want to make sure that we get rid of where this actually says name. So I'm going to say, please don't use any placeholders in the email response. Now we're going to come back over here and we are going to test this again to make sure that it doesn't actually do that. So it's still going to say your name. So I'm going to say, for example, your name, because clearly it's still getting caught up with that right here. I'm going to click on test again. We're going to test this and now we will see that this is completely fixed. Now, this is literally all set up. 
we don't have to do anything else except add in right here Gmail and we are going to click send email. Now, what are we going to send? This is going to be based on the email that we received right here. So it's going to be from the individual that actually emailed us. The subject line is going to be the same exact thing. It is going to be the subject line from the person that emailed us. The body right here, we're gonna click on add data. It is going to be this AI output that we just created here. And that is going to be it right here. We're going to click done. And now this is ready to answer our emails. So now let's actually test this out. All we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. We're going to turn on this trigger right here. I am going to open up my mailbox and I'm gonna shoot an email to this email. So I'm gonna click on compose right here. We're going to send it to credits for less users. I'm gonna put sponsorship offer. I'm gonna say I am a YouTuber and I want to sponsor your channel. Now, we're going to send this to my other email over here. We're gonna come back into Relay. Now what you're gonna notice is that this does take a few seconds for this to actually update. Now as we can see here, this actually picked this up. If we come into Runs, we could see that this actually happened. And if I actually come back into my inbox and click on this, we will see, Dear Robert, thank you for reaching out and your interest in sponsoring my channel. I appreciate you considering me for a partnership. To answer your question regarding sponsorship, my rate is for $4,000 a video. So this went through, was trained on how to respond to these emails and now it goes ahead and actually does it now before i get into those two other tools please smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest ai tools i upload videos like this every single day and you're not going to want to miss them now the next ai agent tool that i want to show you is also going to be one that is going to be free if we come to aistudio.google.com you can now click on build right here and they actually have an app builder in here that is pretty crazy so i'm going to say this i want to build an app that gives feedback on YouTube videos. I want to be able to upload a URL to a YouTube video and get a breakdown of how to improve the script, editing, and other feedback on the video. And we're gonna click on build right here. And what this is going to go through and do is literally build this app for us. This is absolutely insane. I cannot believe that this exists. I cannot believe that this is free. I cannot believe that this actually happened. So this is going to go through, and this is going to think through everything that it needs to do. And by the way, this also integrates with Gemini's APIs, which is why this is so powerful, and it's actually why this is able to happen. If I went to another no-code tool, and I asked it to code this tool, it would then have to somehow hit the Gemini API in order to do this, but you don't have to when you're actually using this tool. And as we can see here, it is thinking through everything that it needs to do. It's going to ask me for some feedback, and then it is literally going to go through and do this. Now look at this. This is going through, and this started coding this, and in just a few seconds, this will be done. Okay, so here we go. This literally took just 49 seconds. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to YouTube, I'm going to get a random YouTube video like this one right here. We're gonna copy the link address. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna put this in here. We're gonna click on get feedback. And this is gonna go through and analyze the video. And it is going to give us feedback. This is insane. It gives us a summary. It gives us how to maximize the script and how to maximize the content. It gives us editing and different visuals. It gives us audio and sound design. It gives us presentation and delivery, engagement and growth. And this goes through exactly how to actually improve this. Now, of course, I might wanna change how this is going to look, or I might wanna change how this actually responds to this, but the fact that this built this in 49 seconds is absolutely insane. It would have taken people 49 hours to build this in the past, but now it happens in 49 seconds, and that's what makes this AI agent coding tool incredibly powerful. And if you wanted to check out other things that they have, you could come down here to showcase, and you can see all the other different tools that have been built using this, and you could also see all of the different features that they actually show off. For example, this one uses a Google Maps API, or this one uses visual understanding, or this one uses a live API, and there's so many other things that you could build with this, and this, I think, is 
going to change the world. Now that last AI agent tool that I have for you is going to be GenSpark Super Agent because you can have this do some crazy things for you. For example, you could have it make phone calls for you in the UK, in the US and Canada, and in Japan, or if we come over here, we could see all the other different agents that it has. For example, AI Slides, this will literally create slideshow presentations for you. GenSpark Super Agent, this could pretty much go through and do anything that is agentic. AI Sheets right here, this replaces Excel and it also replaces Google Sheets and it adds AI agents into it. So you can have it create sheets for things, but more importantly, you could have it actually go through and do the research and fill in data that isn't filled in in the sheet. Or download for me right here, you can have this go download things for you. For example, download papers mentioned in a LinkedIn link or Download videos from GenSpark's Korean TikTok. You could have it do deep research for you. You could have it do fact checks, or they have other basic agents. In fact, if you click on Image Studio right here, click on Generate Image, this is one of the only ways right now to actually use Gemini ImageN for preview. So if we click on this, we're going to say something like, I want you to make a photo of a gorilla running through Manhattan, make it super, realistic and now watch what this does and by the way we could change the size of this we could change the style of this we can have this auto prompt we could remix an image if we wanted to and as we could see gemini image and four preview is now going through and doing this we could have this create videos there are literally an endless amount of opportunities that we can do with this now look at this this is what it actually came up with, which is pretty sick. We could remix this. If we're not happy with this, we could try an auto prompt right here. So I'm gonna go through and let this actually auto prompt this. And what this is going to do is reflect on what that was. And then this is going to come through and this is going to make a way more complex prompt. And this is gonna go ahead and actually build this out here using AI. So let's look at this right here. Now, if we come down here, we're gonna have another image that's created, and this image, I think, looks a little bit better. In addition to that, we could change the image into a video, we could remix this image, or do so much more. And like I said, this right here is a super AI agent that has access to so many different things, so many different capabilities, and if you're not using this right now, you are going to get left behind. Now, if you wanna learn more about how you could automate your work with AI or how to make more money with AI, I strongly suggest that you check out the pinned comment below where I have AI automation school. Once you register, you'll get instant access to a bunch of different classrooms that show you how to use the latest and greatest AI tools so you can automate your work and make money. Not to mention, there's already hundreds of people in the community and everybody's incredibly supportive. If you don't want AI to take your job and you want to be able to leverage this technology to advance your life, I'd strongly suggest you check out the pinned comment below or you should watch this video right here that shows you a brand new AI tool that can make viral videos for you in seconds. Check this out.